So here's another video on plant patterns. One of the reasons I teach and talk about plant patterns a lot when it comes to identification is that it aids us in the field when we're coming across new plants. So I'm here in a friend's allotment, which are great places to forage if they're uh, chemical free, because uh, well, all gardens and allotments are usually covered in weeds, certainly the ones I know. So there's always stuff to find. And I've stumbled across a plant that I've never met before. But immediately, out of all the quarter of a million or so species of plants in the world, I've honed in to the possibility this is one in 3,000 species of brassica. This is most definitely one of the brassica plants. On this plant I can see alternate leaves. Just happens this specimen, unlike quite a lot of the brassicas I've seen in this country before, um, usually the leaves are alternate but don't tend to spiral quite like this. But um, nonetheless, alternate leaves. And this very distinctive, almost mini broccoli floret that you will see on just about every single brassica as they are in bud and just about to come into flower. Now this camera phone isn't going to quite pick out the the four petals, They're only about three millimetre across, but four white petals in the flower. And if I had really good eyesight or a hand lens, I would then find the six stamens in the middle. So yeah, it's a brassica which is great news for a forager when you come across an unknown brassica because automatically we know that plant is edible. And this is why plant families and plant patterns are so advantageous for, for foragers, whether beginning or, or even with experience, because it just, it just reduces the amount of plants that may come, uh, may come under sort of uh, inspection or, or the ones you may think about when you come across a plant. So it, it just sort of aids us to immediately hone in on recognisable, observable patterns. Now, as well as the patterns that we can see, there will also be patterns that are only knowable through engaging other senses. And uh, a quick crush and a sniff of this leaf absolutely verifies my previous thoughts. The smell of sulfurous, cabbagey, cress-like components completely shouting out brassica. So I'm um, back to the back to the books in a minute and find out which one I've got my hands on.